We still the busy hum of London's traffic. Once again, not paying the slightest attention to me. Freddie Spencer, who so kindly gave me a push all the way down from Silverstone earlier on. You must be sturdier than you look, Freddie. You're a, you're a slim built lad. Congratulations on yesterday. Was that well, a bit hairy you. winning the, the 500 and coming fourth from the 250 in those weather conditions? It really was. Um, it, it was hard to believe. Coming from Louisiana where it's 100 degrees and then arriving in Silverstone, it was like a winter day back home. Yeah. But uh, I, uh, I had played a cautious in the 250 race and the 500. Um, I felt really comfortable and yeah, was able to you win. Didn't, you didn't actually slow down, did you? <laughs> you didn't slow down too much considering the fact that you were riding in what could have been a lake. That's true. Well, we have a lot of lakes around Louisiana, so I'm used to the water. You know, yeah. But I, um, the bike was very good, and the tires are, are, are very good in wet conditions, and we had the bike set up well, and, and it felt good. Why do it? I mean, you do it for a living. Obviously, it's a question of why do you want to climb a mountain, but it, in those kind of conditions, did you feel that you were putting your life in danger? Well, we've raced in uh, the wet weather before, uh, like I say, and, and none of us really like to race in those conditions, but it's, it's our job, you know, sometimes. Yeah, but Coming off, you know, having a crash in a car is, is one thing. Coming off one of these things, I mean, how, how padded are you? I mean, well, we're, we're, as you can tell, this, I'm pretty padded. Yeah. Um, I, um, in the wet conditions especially, you don't really, you don't grab, you just slide across the, yeah. the grass and um, you just get muddy. You're the first person to, in fact, it looks like, win the 500cc and the 250cc, which is pretty selfish of you, I would have thought. <laughs> Why did you decide to be greedy and go for both? Or is that the normal thing? You must go for both. Well, I've always liked to, to have new challenges and to try new things. And and uh, I won the 500 World Championship two years ago. And, and this year, Han and I both decided that we would try to do something that everybody felt was impossible to yeah. do. Why take it up? I mean, lots of people take up riding the motorbike. When, when did you, or when did anybody decide that you had the talent to go further, that you were, they were just a bit better than the ordinary guy who rides a motorbike? Did you go racing very early on? Well, you could say that. A lot of people ask me, why do you race? I said, well, at six years old, I really didn't have much of a choice. But uh, well, they put you on a bike at six. Yeah. Family, was, family were keen yeah, on it. Yeah, well, family, my dad said, get out there and ride. I said, sure, dad. But um, no, I started riding when I was six years old, and then I, um, when I was about 16, I turned professional, and that's when I really decided that I wanted to do it as a living, yeah. and I felt I had the talent, and, and uh, I've been very fortunate. Are you the perfect height and weight for a motorbike rider? I mean, how, how light or how, how tall do they have Well, I'm 5'10", uh, yeah. about 150 pounds. Most riders are shorter, yeah. and in fact, I always wanted to be a basketball player, but um, I'm, I'm not tall enough. Yeah. Well, as, I wanted to climb know. Mount Everest, but I was afraid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So how did you start? You started by winning small races. Yes. I went on from there. In the United States, I started racing around my area. My brother and my dad both raced, and they did it as a hobby. Um, and then I went on to, to race nationally as I got older. And it, like I said, it did start as a hobby, and then after that, I, I some people, I got in contact by Honda. Mm. And that's how everything started. Can, that's how sit. Can I have another sit on it, do you sure. think? Sure. Sure, go right ahead. Before we, before we let you cycle off, into the what, what's this dent here well yesterday it was so cold i wanted to get father down no it's where i rest my chin you rest your chin there eh? yes <laughs> he's not really built for me fred it's a pleasure to talk to you well thank you we'll let you much. ride off into the unknown ladies and gentlemen freddie spencer the world champ good night <laughs>